Yes, today we're going to be talking about the GOAT himself, Michael Jordan. We're going to be talking about what makes him so great, why he is still, till today in 2019, the greatest player of all time, and why that might not change in the near coming future. With that being said, this is Charles here. I want to welcome you to the channel, Dreamers Pro. Let's go. Okay. Oh, hey. name is it? It's Michael Jordan. He blows by Pearson. Oh. Jam to the hoop for the right. Scoop shot good on the reverse. Michael! With two seconds to go, puts it up. It's good! To Jordan. Michael underneath for the dunk. Yeah. Oh, what a move by Jordan. Oh. And now down the lane. All the way for the two-hand slam. Hot on one hand from 15. Oh. We're down to two. Now to one. Here's Jordan. So as I said in the beginning of this video, I think we all know as basketball fans, well, at least all of us that are in touch with some semblance of reality that Michael Jordan is the greatest player of all time. Now, I wanna say, I just wanna have one disclaimer out there. There are a lot of people that will watch this video from an older generation and may say Kareem is the best or maybe Bill Russell or whoever, but for let's say contemporary basketball viewers, most people are gonna say that Michael Jordan is the greatest basketball player of all time. But in this video, I wanna talk about some of the things that made him so unique as a basketball player and why he still stands the test of time in so many people's minds as being the best basketball player of all time. Number one was his approach to the game. Michael Jordan learned from people that came before him. He learned from Dr. J and Jerry West and so many other players from him and then he incorporated a lot of that into his game. But what he did was, once he incorporated some of these things that these players were really good at, he now put his own spin on it. And it all really started when he came out of you know, college, uh, North Carolina, and he came into the NBA in, in the dunk contest. When he won the dunk contest and the way he did it, people saw him dunking and they thought this dude could fly because of the way he, you know, he was able to contort his body in the air. And that's really where he got the name Air Jordan. It looked like he was flying the way he was doing his dunks. The other thing was that he had a lot of hang time. Michael Jordan was probably one of the most athletic athletes we've seen in sports pretty much ever. A lot of people would say he's the most athletic basketball player in basketball. Obviously, you have a lot of other players like Dominique Wills, Wilkins, LeBron James, whomever, but he's definitely up there. So standing in at 6'6", weighing 220 pounds, for him to be able to leap the way he did and just really have all of this hang time, he would leave a lot of the people that were watching him in awe, because they were like, hold on, People hadn't really seen a player like that ball up into one package. Yes, we've seen Dr. J, we've seen Clyde, we've seen all these other players, but nothing quite like this. That was, that was one of the things, was just the way he, you know, just how athletic he was. The second thing was his competitive nature. Michael Jordan was known to be what, the most competitive person you'd ever come across, and a lot of this came from his contemporaries. People say he would want to beat you at every single thing that he did. He was almost maniacal about it. They say he would want to beat you in a game. Then after that, he wanted to beat you in a game of poker or gambling, whatever it is. He just wanted to win at every single thing that he did. And for him, is what really drove him to be who he is. If you listen to his acceptance speech when he was inducted into the Hall of Fame, he actually went back and took a lot of jabs at all the, all the people early on in his career that actually doubted him and looked down on him. That's just how competitive he was. He couldn't let it go. He just had to get at them. The next thing was the way that Michael Jordan scored. Remember, as I said in the video before, if you guys think James Harden can score, Michael Jordan actually averaged more points in the season than James Harden. He averaged close to 38 points in the season when he first got into the league. Now you have to think about it. Back then, they weren't even shooting the three ball. It wasn't even prominent. It wasn't a big part of the game. But yet and still, he was still able to get up all of these points. And if you actually put it, if you think about it now, and if you think of putting Michael Jordan into today's game, I think he would average like 45 points a game. I really believe that. If he incorporated a three-point shot into his game, there's no way, because you can't hand check him. You can put your hands on him. And he was so strong, and he was so strong getting to the and, and finishing over contact. So there's just no way you'd be able to stop him. You can you you'll be able to officiate him. I think he would average about 45 points a game playing basketball today he was that good so michael jordan was an unbelievable scorer and he had at least seven multiple scoring titles just think about that at least seven multiple scoring titles that is insane the next thing that makes michael jordan so great in so many people's eyes and the goat was because he was an unbelievable two-way player he also won defensive player of the year i mean he think about it this dude was dominating you on offense and then come down the court and then stop you he was winning a Defensive Player of the Year awards and he was always NBA first all teams. 
And that's one of the things that really added to his greatness. But the number one thing that added to Michael Jordan, well, I'll say one of the biggest things that added to his greatness and his lore was his ability to 3 P. okay? He did it back to back. Michael Jordan won his first three championships back to back to back. Then he got kicked out of the league for two years, came back and did it again, okay? Think about it, Kobe and Shaq only did it once. LeBron and D-Wade never did it. Hell, the Golden State Warriors couldn't do it. The San Antonio Spurs couldn't do it. That's how hard it is to, to, to go back to back to back. And I remember a number of years ago when the Lakers had won two championships in a row after they beat the Orlando Magic and they beat the, um, I think, uh, they had beaten the Orlando Magic and I think they beat the Boston Celtics or something like that. And they asked Phil Jackson, do you think this team can repeat? And he said, this team does not have the mental makeup to have a three-peat. He said that, and it was true. You know, for whatever reason, the Lakers could in three P. Just that just goes to show you how hard it was to repeat uh, the three P. And he did it twice. Michael Jordan, if you think about it, has, he's he's the fourth all-time scoring leader after Kobe now, but he only played 12 years. He played in college. If Michael Jordan came out of high school, he would be he, he would be the all-time leading scorer in NBA history. It would be him. He was able to score all of these points. Think about it, LeBron James is still playing basketball. He's going into year 17, and he still hasn't caught Michael Jordan on the all-time scoring list, and he came in earlier than he did, right? He's played five more years than Michael Jordan, I believe it was, or, or, or three more years than Michael Jordan had, and yet, and still, he can't catch him in scoring. So for, I mean, Michael Jordan was just on a whole completely different stratosphere. And he was a winner. This guy went to the finals six times, won six times, never went to, went to a game seven. There's no argument you can make for any player that has come into basketball within the last 25 years and say that this person is a better basketball player than Michael Jordan. There's just no, there's no one. There is no one. And finally, we're gonna talk about his impact that he had on culture as a whole. When he came out and he inked that deal with Nike to do the Air Jordan line, the rest was history. Air Jordans are by far, by far the most popular shoe brand in the world when it comes to sports. By far. This guy hasn't played basketball in probably 10 years and his shoes are still selling out. So the impact that he's had on culture is just unbelievable. And if you listen to other celebrities talk about when they meet Michael Jordan, they said it's just unbelievable. John Sally, who was a former Nick and former Bull, said he used to call him Black Jesus. He said, because when you were around this guy, it's like as if he wasn't even real. And that's the impact that Michael Jordan was able to have on basketball and continues to have. Thus far, he is the greatest player of all time, as I said, minus the old school that will say Bill Russell or Will Chamberlain or Kareem or whatever it is. He's the greatest player I've ever seen. I'm a Kobe fan, but there's no way in my right mind I'm gonna sit down and look at Michael Jordan and say that he is not the best basketball player of all time. So today, I wanna to highlight the GOAT, the number one GOAT, Michael Jordan, and just highlighting the greatest player of all time. I'm just looking at his career and all the wonderful things he's able to do most importantly highlighting a winner so with that being said i hope you enjoyed this video if you're a jordan fan you definitely gotta hit the like button don't forget to subscribe to the channel and tell us why you think michael jordan is the greatest player of all time with that being said this is charles here peace